With the Minnesota Fighting Vikings release veteran red zone tight end Kyle Rudolph before free agency, they designated him as a post-June 1st release, meaning on paper they kept him on the books until after June 1st and then released him to spread out the dead cap hits versus taking it all at once. And it was a great move by the Vikings, thanks to... So tomorrow, June 2nd, hence post-June 1st, get it the vikings will free up an extra 7.9 million in cap space and the vikings will have around 13.8 million in space per spot rack now remember the top 51 contracts are all that matter for the salary cap 90 man 53 man whatever only the top 51 count and the vikings will actually have a little less because as you can see on the graphic that rookies like kellen mon chas rat wyatt davis and patrick jones the second have not signed their contracts officially yet but they will take up a spot on the top 51 it's not a major difference about 400k since they take someone else's spot on the top 51 who had a slightly lower contract now the question is what do the vikings do with all that space all that cheddar and they had to have had a plan since they added voidable years to anthony Barr's restructured deal and dalvin tomlinson's two-year contract as well so i mean something's got to happen the obvious one is freshing up daniel hunter and keeping him in the fold and avoiding this cold war turning hot also extending harrison smith as he heads into the final year of his deal so he can end his career in purple like it should should be and plus extending Brian O'Neill before he blows up in a contract year as his rookie contract is wrapping up or potentially signing a veteran like Gar Trey Turner because I'd rather start him over Dozier if you're not going to give Wyatt Davis time of day that's all I'm saying or roll some of that cap money into 2022 to take the starch out of the Kirk Cousins 45 million dollar cap it if you want to move on and it's Kellen Mond time because crazier things have absolutely happened but either way the Vikings do have some flexibility even after the shopping spree of free agency this offseason as they get ready for training camp and hit the last part of this offseason so Let's get it going. Love me some Robert Zinsky, man. A absolutely keeping the Vikings always in good cap compliance, good cap health, and with the cap rebounding in 2022. Yeah. Take care of everyone. Sign everyone. Let's go. Money is no object. There's always money in the banana sand. Let's go. Uh, be your thoughts. Vikings salary cap gets a little bump post June 1st. Let's know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.